there are only a handful of engine makers that power regular commercial aircraft today. The main three are Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce and General Electric. Each of these firms have their own efficiency and decarbonisation strategies, such as Rolls-Royce's recent hydrogen jet engine test in collaboration with EasyJet. However, with the advent of novel propulsion technologies, could airframe manufacturer Airbus find itself entering the engine game? Let's explore this in today's video. There is also a new type of engine maker carving out space for itself in the sustainable future of flight. Several startups have already gotten quite far in testing hydrogen fuel cell technology, with, for instance, Zero Avia gearing up for the first flight of its Dorney A228 testbed aircraft. Airbus has partnered up with CFM International, a joint project between GE Aviation and Safran, to test direct hydrogen combustion technology. Meanwhile, in early December, the European aerospace manufacturer revealed its own hydrogen fuel cell technology engine. For now, it's a matter of developing the technologies to make hydrogen electric propulsion a reality. However, when that is done, Airbus may decide to bring in a partner, or it could decide to produce its own hydrogen-fueled power plant. While presenting the new fuel cell project at the Airbus Summit in Toulouse, VP for Zero Emission Aircraft Glenn Llewellyn said, We're developing the methods for integrating those technologies into a fuel cell type engine. It doesn't mean that Airbus will do this on its own in a subsequent step before we decide to commercialize that technology. We might decide that that's the best approach, but we could easily also decide to partner. Airbus is, of course, already partnering across its hydrogen propulsion technology ecosystem. As we previously mentioned, CFM will ground and flight test hydrogen direct combustion technology on Airbus's A380-0E demonstrator aircraft. The engine maker will modify the combustor, fuel system and control system of a GE Passport turbofan to run on the hydrogen. While direct combustion technology would burn the hydrogen the same way other combustion engines burn Jet A, fuel cell engines generate electricity through an electrochemical reaction. They differ from batteries in that they require a continuous source of fuel and oxygen. Fuel cell technology has been available to the automotive industry for some time. However, what is sufficient for ground transport does not meet either the safety or the efficiency requirements of aviation. In order to generate enough power, the fuel cells need to be stacked together, which may incur a weight penalty for the overall system. Airbus will be working on both direct combustion and fuel cell technology as parallel pathways, deciding on which will be the more likely to power the Zero E aircraft it does bring to market, if the timeline still stands, by 2035. Llewellyn says that there are currently two parallel paths, stating, We're exploring the potential of those different technologies, both from a climate perspective and from a scalability technology perspective, and we're making the decisions later about what finally the technology would be that we take to a commercial aircraft, but we're not at that point yet. Do you think Airbus should eventually have a more serious role in producing the power plants that propel its aircraft? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.